Hello, this is Carl, that being a nice guy. And I am doing my metric century for May. So far I did 25 miles. So this is kind of right past the Oaks PA Convention Center. You know, this is the Schuylkill River still. I already passed where the Perky Omen splits off. And I'm kind of heading toward Phoenixville. Um, that is the main goal. Maybe I'll go a little bit further, but it's like a wet ride. I was thinking it was going to be muddy here. I almost didn't want to do a metric century, but it isn't that muddy or wet. It's just more like the MS-150 was last year and the other year where, you know, it's just wet. So when you look at the surface, it's kind of wet. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, I'll post more of this as I go along. Uh, usually it passes a mango, it's dressed as a different tire. That's my dress today. This is Lake Montclair. This isn't that far from the bridge. Part it just weaves around, or this trail weaves around behind all the buildings. So, Route 29 is over there, and the main strip kind of it, it was closed off a lot of times last year. I didn't see it close off once this time. Well, I guess it isn't closed off on Mondays anyway, right? But yeah, the main street there is closed off. Sometimes on the weekends. Yeah, this trail is kind of weaved behind everything. It was once smooth. I think it was the last we ever five years ago. But yeah, you can, you can see behind all the old buildings. And behind all the new buildings. These are little bridges. Technically, when I get here, it's mile 27. Now, if I go down the towpath on the other side of the river, that kind of adds like two more miles. But I usually take this trail at least so there's like a railroad crossing. Sometimes I go a little further. I don't know if I have the energy to go a little bit further today, but hey, let me try it. But as you see, it's we used to hear across whatever this road is. Main Street. Well, this is the main. The other road has all the stuff. But yeah, this is pretty nice. I to see. It. I wonder what this is, this family. Uh, wedding thing, you know, whatever, catering thing. It must be pretty cool to have a wedding, I believe. It's gonna be hell knows how much it costs. But yeah, you just keep going. And instead of going that way, we're just dead end. Let's go this way. Yes, yeah, this sketchy bridge. And you go underneath the, this is called the Gay Street Bridge. But I think the last video that I went this far, it was just like, you know, shrubbery. They built all these new places to live, I don't know. Their, their apartments are probably in this one, but down there they're more like townhomes or condos. But yeah, this is all, all new. Brand new. But yeah, as we go more around this thing, it's because we're kind of circling 
everything here. It's this trail. You can see it's all like condos, townhomes. It's the technically expensive townhomes, right? So you live out here in the middle of Phoenixville. I don't know where you're gonna work in Phoenixville to make enough money for these places. So you probably drive all the way to the city every day just to live here. Yeah. Originally, there's nothing there. At least there's something. I think it's gonna be like a super, uh, super, you know, one of them toxic waste dump things. I guess it isn't, so. Or maybe it cleaned up. Who knows? Yeah, usually, I turn around right at this bridge. I don't know if you can even see the railroad bridge now because there's so much stuff next to it. There used to be like nothing around it, and that's all you've seen is the railroad bridge in the distance. This bridge, when I first went by, it was like, well, you couldn't even walk across it, let alone drive across it. They, re they redid all the bridge to be a road. It's a nice metal bridge, too. But that's <coughs> very new. Yeah, this railroad bridge is very old. Well, maybe it's eventually going to be part of the bike path, or something before it just falls down. This I believe is French Creek, right? I don't call me that, I don't know. But there's like a campsite that people go to that's right off the of French Creek that eventually I do want to go to. So I just passed that bridge. This nowhere road. This is usually where I turn around too. Meaning it's either that bridge or this. Because like Right there, it feels like you're going on a road that goes like that. But you go down the thing that goes like this. Right past this cool power fan looking thing. But yeah, you still gotta go back up that hill, back to this hill. This this needs this is pretty nice. This goes pretty fast down too. Usually that's why I don't really go further in this point, because I don't feel like killing myself 30 miles away from the you know where I gotta go. But yeah, this is technically a mile 29 without even turning into the towpath that was across the river. So, yeah, maybe we'll go further. Well, <laughs> maybe in a half a mile, but probably like 10. So I go up a little bit more, but then once you get to the top of that guy, you just fly down the hill. I don't know, what the hell's going on with this traffic? Where are these people going? It's like freaking Williamstown. Right? They're not going anywhere. Just take off the road in space. Because there's no reason for these people to be here. There's nothing here. Yeah, so this is the long downhill. <clears throat> if I had a chest mount or something, I'd put it on there. But yeah, I'm not holding it. my bike with one hand going down that hill. So we'll just see what the max speed is in a second. <laughs> Okay, so the bottom of that hill is Township Line Road. You know, when I last did this, I don't think there was a parking lot there. I mean, maybe, it, I don't think that was there. There's this cool power plant right there. But yeah, that thing's gonna be fun going back up. So how fast did it get me? It probably got me to 31.8 without even trying to go fast. I mean, I'm not really interested in going faster than 30 miles per hour. <clears throat> if I want to go fast, I'll use a motorcycle. Or even better, how about I just get a jet plane and I'll use that to go fast. Where I can't really hit anything in the sky. Plus, there's another plane. Also, I like the two Wait, this is this uh. It's like a little power plant thing you can't even see, but it's there somewhere. Yes, these trees. <laughs> now, there was like a thing with all these pipes that looked similar to like what was in the cyborg in the fight scene, where it was like the square building with all these pipes leading into it. But they must have knocked that thing down because I don't see it now. 
All the rest of the stuff seems to be still here. I don't even know if you can see it past the trees. So I'm looking at the camera, I don't know if you can see it all. There you go, you can finally see it. The power grid there. So this is generally how the Indiana Trail is. Where is this field and a trail? I think that was the Pumpkin Line Trail, but I wasn't doing videos back then. I just took pictures. This this part of the trail that passes this field. I think I'm going to Spring City. That's the next town. I say Spring City. I yeah, No, there was Royal Fruit across the river. It's busy a new bridge there, so I wanted to take a look at that. Actually, here. Also, when I first went down this way, this trail. Stopping and pee somewhere. I'm not sure it was like maybe right by a power plant or up here, but this is now paved. It's supposedly paved pretty much the whole, I don't know, way. So, yeah, for some reason, this, when you're on this part, I just feel like the miles are not moving. I mean, maybe it's just because it's a new part to me. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this is basically nothingness. Yeah, this all wasn't paid. Well, last year was paid, but first time it was definitely proud. This is thing how they made you go around the power line tower. I don't see construction going on. Oh, it actually looks like it's plate. Once I like to go see the words for bridge, I guess I'm not. I'm not going to go all the way over that route. However, I get to it. But they're obviously putting up another pipe. Or is this another power tower? So I guess the trail is closed. At, yeah. at least as of whatever date this is. The 6th of May. But anyway, I got to mile 31.9 or 32. That's half of the century. There was something cool I saw coming this way. Yeah, it's like a little duckweed pond. Old duckweed pond, but that's pretty cool. It's like there's a house, I think, right there or there. But yeah, that's pretty neat. So, I guess this is this outside of Spring City. I'm not really sure what the actual location is. So, I'm back at this, and oh, I am dreading this. Never survived that one mile. It's a nice old Ford Ranger. It's a firebird. It's a trooper. We're at the top of some kind of hill here. Here we are back here. We're just in the air, not the mic. That's the trail. I don't want to keep going on, but I just want to look at this. Yeah, you probably saw this in other videos. I don't know. Sometimes the road is closed. It's a nice little strip to go to. Like if I come here with other people, there's plenty of places to drink. Otherwise, it's a <coughs> nice place to go to. I would have went a little further, but obviously I didn't. Stop in my tracks. But maybe that construction will be here next time I do this, even though I probably won't do this next time. I'll probably go to Chester Valley. Or maybe New Jersey. Here we are on the bridge. 
bridge that goes to the water. Well, it says Upper Providence there. But Montclair is over that way. Yeah, I usually go down this tow path. I don't have any food over here, so the tow are really good. So, yeah, I'm just going back. And we're gonna get to the school core of a trail again. We'll get the Valley of Horrors. I guess that's the next part I'll show you. And now 40. This is the 422 Expressway. Here we are at mile 50. We got four minutes, or four hours and two minutes. It's a little bit two minutes too slow. But yeah, it's 50 miles of this. Uh, it's technically 13 or 14 miles back to where I'm going. Here we are at the entrance of the snow path. Re completed. Here we are back in Nanya to deal with this massacre on the road. I'm free. It should definitely be over when I get to the apartment. Well, it's like the way back. It felt pretty good. Maybe because there was a headwind all the way out there. Wow. Yeah, the brakes, the brake pads. Even though they're road brake, road like brake pads, they are looking fine. We'll see how that does after a couple weeks. Anyway, uh, this is Abby and my friend. Thanks for watching.